Thank you guys so much for joining us uh, for another My Expert Live training webinar. And uh, these are really cool. I really enjoy them uh, for, for one, because I get to connect with you guys. <laughs> it's great to be able to connect with other uh, heat pressers and people who are also in the same field. So it's really, it's really awesome. Uh, also, it, it allows us to really train and share on some of our most popular products. So I know a lot of you guys have been asking about uh, sign master demos and vectorization and how does it work? And you know, we don't have a lot of too much training on that and we wanna fix that. So today we are training on SignMaster Pro. Uh, if you have the basic version, uh, you will be able to take advantage of the point editing that we're gonna be talking about today, um, but you will need the SignMaster Pro in order to do the vectorization, which we're also gonna be talking about today. So we're gonna get into it. Again, we're talking about SignMaster Pro today. And you can see here, I just have a blank SignMaster Pro document. There's nothing on here. And so today our project is a mask, and this is an, ima an imaginary business that has reached out to me, reached out to you, and they're like, hey, I need masks made, or I need a t-shirt made. And so you say, okay, can I have your, your graphic in vector format? And they'll probably tell you something like, I have a JPEG, I have a PNG. <laughs> so in this instance, we are going to imagine that somebody has given us a PNG, so I'm gonna go to file, Gonna go to import. Now this is different than open. If you go to open, that's for your files that are saved as a sign master format. So uh, that's actually a lot. So right here, it's only showing uh, stuff that I've done. Uh, let's see, what's this? Oh yeah, so this is stuff that I've done, a Pray for Baldwin Park t-shirt that I had made. Uh, so let's just close that. So this is already, uh, this is a sign master file, right? If you go to open, um, if you go to open, you're not gonna see any images there's no jpegs there's no pngs here so what we're going to do is we're going to go to import and we're going to import a file and this i know the preview looks dumb because it's it's a it's a png so it has a transparent background so when you when you click the file open it's going to give you like a preview you guys see the little outline there you can just drop it anywhere you click to place it now this looks pretty good now i'm going to zoom in so you guys can see it but now what's gonna happen is, some of you guys may notice, some of you guys may not. You see when I zoom in really close here, we have these crazy uh, pixelations. It's like pixelated edges. It's not super clean, right? Now this is important. Those of you guys who might be new to vinyl cutting, your vinyl cutter needs a file with a perfect edge. If your, your vinyl cutter will not read this file, because if it did, it would cut all these jagged little, it wouldn't really know where to, start and stop or cut all these jagged little edges right and we don't want that in our files we need it to be totally smooth so this file it's a png it's not a vector file and when we say vector file we mean something with smooth edges i'll tell you what i mean now one thing i absolutely love about sign master pro is the vectorization feature so all i'm going to do is i'm going to right click it and the first option says image tools and options now i can adjust just right here i can adjust like contrast uh, brightness, blah, 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 blah. But what I'm looking for is the vectorize feature. All right. Now, you, if you look on top, when I click on this, you'll see right here, there's a button right there. It's just, it's already ready to roll. Right. And of course, that explains. So I'm going to click vectorize. And now it's going to read my image. And here's what's cool. Let me see if I can make this bigger so everybody can. See. Okay. Huh? I didn't. Oh, here we go. Zoom in. Okay. So what's cool about this, now the preview is also gonna look pixelated, don't worry, it's just a preview. So there, it, it's gonna be fine. Um, what's cool about this is you can, so it's reading the whole image and it's tracing it. And that's actually a really good trace right there. And it says two colors, of course, it's one color being the main color, this two, and the second color, it's X'd out. Um, if you right click on it, it'll give you two colors, which you don't need, you don't want that. So with your right click, if you click on the second color, it'll toggle that on and off, and then you'll just get a square, right? You don't want that background square. So right click it to X out this white color so you have just the graphic. So this is gonna give us a solid contour. Now there's two colors in the source image. There's orange and black. This is gonna give us just one, uh, which is totally cool. So we're just gonna hit, uh, there we go. So I'm gonna open this up really quick here. And I'm just going to hit trace. Now you see these here. So they're smoothing. If you max out the smoothing, 
uh, what's going to happen is, and again, the preview is pixelated, right? So the preview is not the best source. What's going to happen is the corners are going to get a little bit rounded, and then also even more, the corners right here, um, you could max that out, and you're going to have really sharp corners. Um, or you could lower it all the way, and you'll have real rounded corners. Then, of course, level of detail to retain. If you lower that to zero, uh, your image is going to be like smoothed out, probably where you don't want it to be smoothed out. Uh, you know, and that's that's you know, it's not it's not really desirable. I prefer the default settings, and then level of detail. I usually bring that up all the way to the top. Sometimes it's too much detail. If you if you're working with a really pixelated image, um, that's not high res like this one. If you uh, retain too much detail, it'll kind of make it look kind of whack. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and trace this. And you want to accept. So now this preview, after we trace it, this preview is going to give you your preview. So now look how close we're zooming in. No pixelations, right? It's great. So I'm going to accept it. And now I have this. And of course, I can color this whatever the heck color I want. Um, you know, but let's zoom in, right? So we're going to zoom in. Look at that. Do you see any pixelated lines? No. That's because this is now a vector graphic. Let's zoom in on, on these. The zoom is a little wonky on here. Look at these. Those are beautiful lines. There's no, there's no pixelation whatsoever on this. So it's very, very cool. And I kind of took the long way. Uh, if we wanted to do this really fast, the default settings, honestly, they're amazing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to import. You can also just hit Control I. I'm going to re-import this same file. I'm going to hit Vectorize, and I'm just going to go by the defaults, right? I'm going to hit Trace, and then hit Accept, and then boom. So you see how quick that was. You know, I, I didn't really. Most of the times, like nine times out of ten, you don't have to mess with the settings at all to get a really great trace. So yeah, so this is one piece. I just converted, it's one solid piece. Uh, so you could hit ungroup all, and now all the pieces are individualized. So what I like to do is, if something's gonna be one color when I cut it out, I like to set it apart before I cut so I know which color uh, I send to which, you know, which color vinyl I'm gonna use for this. So you can see here what I'm doing is I'm just selecting the individual pieces and I'm just coloring them whatever I want. So you can see here when we hit ungroup all, it allowed me to select each individual piece. And now I could make it whatever I want. I can color it uh, closer to the original. And again, on the preview, it looks pixelated, but when we zoom in, you see how beautiful and clean those lines are. They're fantastic. And you really could do whatever colors you want. Maybe we want to turn this into a three color design. Maybe we want a little bit of red in there, you know? You just select the parts and boom. So you can really color it whatever you want. Now for gradients, this is specifically, Sign Master specifically for cutting vinyl uh, and not for full design. So with Corral Draw, uh, Illustrator, those you can design with it for even non vinyl applications. It's a vector design software. So for that, you could do a gradient. Uh, in Sign Master, it's very specific for signage and t shirts like this one. Um, so yeah, it's not going to have a gradient option on there. Silhouette does have a vectorization, but here's where Sign Master really has the advantage. So this, you go to export, export to the file, right? Uh, let's just put it back here. I can export this as a vector, a PDF, um, an EPS, a, a SVG. So I can export this, whatever I make in Sign Master, I can export it. To, so anyone can use it. And then I can also export it as a PNG as well. So there's, uh, I can export it as a JPEG with a Silhouette Studio. Unless you upgrade all the way to Business Edition, you can't export any of your graphics. Whatever you make in Silhouette Studio stays in Silhouette Studio. You could share the file with other Silhouette users, but you can't share that file with any non-Silhouette users. Um, so that's kind of the, the difference. It's kind of the big difference there. So now that we have, and I'm going to turn this, this is kind of annoying me here, so I'm going to turn it all back uh, to one color. There we go. Let's get back. We're getting back on the screen here. And uh, we're going to show you real quick uh, point editing. 
So what I love about SignMaster Pro is you're able to edit points just like you would in any other pro software. Now we've got a really good read. Look how sharp these, these corners are, right? On this gear. That's not always the case. Sometimes you get, I'm trying to find a, uh, man, these, yeah, these corners came out great, actually. Um, but sometimes, you know, you'll get a file that's not that cool. Uh, let's mess with these wrenches for a second. So we're zoomed in on the wrenches. There's two ways you could do it. You could double click on any item and you see here how it has all these nodes, right? So if you want to just mess with stuff, right? Turn this into the world's weirdest, grossest wrench. You totally can. Point, we call it, uh, some people call it node editing, uh, point editing. Basically, every image that you, that you see here is made up of shapes. And they have these little points. And I'm going to see if I can zoom in a little closer so you can see what I mean. So you see how this point, it makes up the corner. You could round it out. If you want to round it out, just click the point. You can bring it in, right? Lots of weird stuff you could do. You could loosen that. You can make it a tight corner if you want to. Uh, some corners have handles on them. So this is your this is your node, right? That's where it's a corner. And then this, again, it allows you to mess with the curve. So maybe something's a little too sharp. Something's a little bit too round. You can mess with it right there. Point editing. And I, I'm, the scroll on my mouse is really dumb. And I apologize for that, guys. Uh, maybe this point is too pointy. Drag it down and look how easy that was to go from a pointy to a rounded. Now here's what here's where that's you know let me hit undo. I ruined this wrench. There we go. Um, let me show you something really quick. So you see these right here. Those of you guys who have made T-shirts, you know that if your point is too pointy, and I'm specifically talking about this right here, if that's too narrow, what's going to happen is when it when it cuts out of the vinyl. Like you don't want anything too too thin because it has nothing to grab onto. So if this was a sticker decal. I would not want my point that sharp and needle-like at the end. So I'm going to zoom in, right? And you see at this point, here's where the details I guess got kind of messed up here. So you could uh, you could even delete a point. You select a point, hit delete. I'm going to delete these two points. So now I have this point. I'm going to grab this little arrow and I'm going to kind of dull it out, right? So now instead of a super thin, pointy thing that's not going to, because when, you, when you're doing vinyl, the vinyl material, it has adhesive on it. It needs to grab onto something. So at this point where it gets just too darn thin, uh, it has nothing to grab onto. And those are the parts, especially on uh, car decals. Like if this was going in on, on a car decal, the thin tips of these straight little lines right here, you see those? And I'm, again, I'm referring to that right there. The thin tips of these, would have nothing to grab onto. So these are gonna be the first parts to peel and wear away. Whereas larger sections like this, for example, and, uh, oh man, what am I doing? Oh, cause I'm in point editing, duh. So the larger point, like, like this, for example, this big piece, that's not gonna have any problem. If it's a car decal sticker going on a window, the thin parts like this specifically, the very tips of these, those are going to peel away. So sometimes what you, what I do is on certain graphics, if it's too pointy, I'll go into point editing and I'll just kind of widen it out a little bit. You can, uh, and here's where we'll, we'll, we'll show you. We'll, you can right click it and kind of add a point or double click it, add a point. Um, you can kind of make it a little wider if you want to, like, you know, if you ever have anything that's really thin like that, there's different things you could do. Sometimes your text is not going to be very cute. Sometimes the text is going to be all wonky. And you know, while we're at it, really quick, when if someone gives you something and the text looks dumb, just get rid of it. Use your text tool. And you would just find a font that works. Now, I've done this countless times. And uh, I'm going to open up my toolbar here. Oh, no, it's here text tools, open up my list of fonts, and I find a font that looks closest. I'm not sure what font that was. And you can see I got tons of fonts. Oh, one cool thing that I do want to mention about 
Sign Master is that all the fonts that are on your computer automatically get loaded into, uh, into Sign Master when you open it up. So if you have a font on your computer and you get Sign Master, it is there. It's in Sign Master. So there we go. Now, maybe, maybe they wanted a different, this font is not close enough, in my opinion, to the original. Um, you know, you always want to check with your client to make sure that you, you can tell them like, hey, the, the file you sent me is a little too cheap. I need to replace the font. Do you know what font it is? What font, what the original font is? They'll say no. Do your best, find something that's close, and then make sure you send it to them to proof it before you continue. You don't want to make something. And then later after the fact, them saying, oh, I don't like that font. That's, that's not the font I wanted. Uh, you know, that's that's never good. So just double check with your client before sending them back uh, a font. Some of them won't care. Um, some of them really will. And it's your responsibility to make sure that <laughs> To check, assume everybody cares. Anyways, so we're using this font. Sometimes you just got to retype a font. Sometimes you can fix it. You just double click on it and we're point editing. Now, another thing you can do is you want to make this car, make the car a little meaner, a little leaner. I don't know. Now that car looks demented. Anyways, but it's that simple. It's that simple. Like getting quality, uh, getting quality, and I'm just going to delete this here. I don't want that. Getting, making quality graphics for your customers is not hard, especially when you have a, a pro software like SignMaster. Thank you guys so much for joining me again. I hope you have a great day. That's going to do it for me here at Heat Press Nation. I hope everybody is safe. I hope you guys have an amazing, safe weekend. All right, guys, watch your wash your hands, wear a mask, and I'll be seeing you around.